Hello, we are project number 23122, and our project is on the production of 5 hydroxymethyl furfural, or HMF for short, using agricultural waste. I am Brendan, and my other team members are Sam, Bryce, and Arlet. Here is our poster, and it provides a quick overview of our project and what we will elaborate on further in the video. Okay, hopefully you saw that the purpose of our plan was to produce this chemical called 5-hydromethylfurfurinol and how we're going to create it using agriculture waste. But what really is HMF and why do we care? So HMF is a versatile chemical which has uses as an intermediate compound for fuel and chemical processes. It has applications in the pharmaceutical industry, in the creation of biofuels, and in the creation of solvents. But also in the building of polymers just to name a few. What's nice about HMF is that it can be produced using renewable resources that are rich in sugars such as fructose, glucose, sucralose, but also from the breakdown of polymers with sugar backbones. As seen below, this is a simple diagram showing the general pathway HMF can undergo. On the topic of agriculture waste, we believe it's an ideal feedstock for HMF synthesis for three main reasons. First is that it's a resource that is typically considered waste and therefore is cheap to obtain and demand is low for them. Second is that the supply of these wastes are tied directly to the food industry, which isn't going anywhere anytime soon. In fact, the Food and Agriculture Organization estimates roughly 20 to 30% of all fruits and vegetables in the world are discarded as waste during post-harvest processing. And as for the third reason, although agriculture waste is mostly composed of cellulose, hemicellulose, and ligand, these are organic polymers that, let's say, are broken down using hydrolysis, will yield the sugars such as fructose and glucose that are required from HMF production. And finally, an updated HMF pathway is shown at the bottom of the slide, depicting what our plant is really trying to do. And here are some photos showing the various types of agriculture waste you can find around the world. Really, name me the plant and I'll show you the waste. And now we've come to the main driving force behind our plant, hydrolysis, or the cleavage of biomolecules into smaller components. Hydrolysis carried out at standard conditions is typically very, a very slow process, which is why industrial scale hydrolysis more often than not involves using strong acids and bases to speed it up. However, these additions come at the expense of higher costs, increased safety risks, and extensive post-treatment. For these reasons, we've instead chosen to incorporate subcritical water hydrolysis technology into our plant. Water under subcritical conditions has been shown to rapidly break down polymers using only high temperatures and pressures with no additional chemicals needed. This technology will help us digest all sorts of agriculture waste and yet yield us the sugars, fructose, and glucose, which we need for HMS synthesis. Hydrolysis produces various other products besides HMF, such as reduced sugars and furfural. These sugars have many uses, such as fermentation, sweeteners, or in our case, as a feedstock to synthesize more HMF. The furfural and sugar byproducts that cannot be converted to HMF can be sold to help supplement various other plant and operation costs. Now going into our process design. Here we have a simplified block fill diagram as our entire process is rather complex. The process begins with our choice of agro waste that is fed into the subcritical water hydrolysis unit which outputs reduced sugars for the simulated moving bed to separate individually. The separated sugars and HMF, our desired product, flow into byproduct purification where glucose is sent to our glucose to fructose conversion process, while the products are outputted in separate streams to be sold immediately. The glucose to fructose does as dictated and sends fructose to the final step of fructose to HMF conversion, where fructose is ultimately converted into HMF. A side note, water is recycled throughout the entire process from different steps. All steps were performed in the software Aspen. Now, we will show you the first step of subcritical water hydrolysis. The subcritical water hydrolysis process is rather extensive, but focusing on the important inputs and outputs only for simplification purposes, agro waste enters our reactor, sending our reduced sugars to our next step, the simulated moving bed. Additionally, a desorbent feed is also fed into the next step as well. Now moving on to our second step, the simulated moving bed. The simulated moving bed mixes the reduced sugars with the desorbent feed from the subcritical water hydrolysis process and separates them into individual sugars. Arebino, xylose, glucose, and HMF come out from the step. These reduced sugars are then sent to byproduct purification. 
Byproduct purification takes the reduced sugars and separates them from water and readies the products for sale. One stream is recycled back to the subcritical water hydrolysis, while the glucose is sent for feed for the glucose to fructose conversion step. An additional step to the byproduct purification is furfural recovery. Furfural is another sugar byproduct. Taking the furfural from our simulated moving bed, we are able to further filter the furfural for individual sailing while again sending recycle back to subcritical water hydrolysis. Now moving on to our fourth step, glucose to fructose conversion. Our fourth step glucose to fructose conversion does as dictated, taking glucose feed from byproduct purification and desorbent feeds from simulated moving bed, fructose is sent to the final step of converting fructose to HMF while also sending more recycle back to subcritical water hydrolysis. Now for the final step, fructose to HMF conversion. The fructose to HMF conversion takes the fructose from the previous step and reacts it with other materials to create HMF, our final product. Our proposed plant is estimated to produce over 8,200 metric tons of HMF annually. While this is only approximately 6% of our plant's total production, which includes referral and other reduced sugars, HMF accounts for almost 80% of our gross sales. While these unit prices are likely to have some error due to the difficulty of finding reliable information, the estimated IRR and NPV for this plant is 139% and $2.5 billion respectively over a 20-year lifespan. Overall, the conversion of agar waste, such as pecan shells, to HMF has promising avenues in the areas of commercialization and research. By utilizing agar waste as a raw material for synthesis, this production scheme of HMF is highly sustainable and versatile due to seasonal influxes of agar waste readily supplying the process. This sustainability provides the backbone for increased production of HMF derivatives, such as the renewable biofuel 2,5-dimethylfuran, or DMF. Further improvements to the HMF development process includes the following. Integrating a glucose recycle stream, which recycles glucose from the SMB unit for glucose and fructose separation to the beginning of the glucose and fructose conversion step of the overall HMF production process. This will increase the efficiency of HMF production by allowing a higher amount of glucose to be converted to fructose, which is then converted to HMF. And lastly, further reducing the amount of water utilized in the overall HMF production train by increasing recycling rates.